<sighs> oh. Hey. This is Stephanie O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. And I know this video is a little late, considering that this whole incident happened a long time ago. It's been two weeks. But what is up with this Abercrombie and Fitch? I mean, I don't shop there. I would probably never be able to work there due to my height and my girth, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> However, you know, I'm saying that who do we want to work there? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Let me start over. As you know, he. I can't remember the man's name, but the CEO of Abercrombie & Fitch released a statement saying that they only go that That he doesn't want larger people in his store. He wants thin, beautiful people, Lewis said. He doesn't want his core customers to see people who aren't as hot as them wearing his clothes. People who wear his clothes should feel like they're the ones, they're one of the cool kids. And wait. Oh well, yeah. Start. Any. He also had after he stated this. He also stated another uh, phrase. And no phrase. Uh, quote. Yeah. Here's another quote from him. In every school, there are the cool kids and popular kids, and then there are the not so cool kids, he told the site. Okay. Candidly, we go after the cool kids. We go after the attractive, all American kid with a great attitude and a lot of friends. A lot of people don't belong in our clothes, and they can't belong. Are we exclusionary? Absolutely. I just have to list for my own reasons. Those companies that are in trouble are trying to target everybody. Young, old, fat, skinny. But then you become totally vanilla. You don't alienate anyone. Anybody. But you don't excite anybody either. Huh. He told Salon. Okay. I'm going to dial it back just a bit here. My biggest issue is he said in his second quote that he only targets the cool kids. Just give me a second. Okay. What the heck are you talking about, sir? I mean, I, I don't know, I don't want to talk too much about my own personal past or history, but in my school, even with my dwarfism, I was a cool kid. 
Now, mind you, it might have been because people just liked my height and thought, oh, there walks a small person. Let's pick her up. See if she'll scream. Eh. However, eh, they didn't do that to hear me scream. I did that because I didn't like being picked up. However, eh. oh, I was also a very smart kid compared to most of my classmates. Let's put it this way. I have, I don't usually like to brag about GPA or educational level, but uh, 3.0 to me is really not intelligent. Not in my standards, anyways. Hey, I, I don't think schools can measure intelligence that way. I don't even think that's possible. I think some people have absolutely no scale, and it's just like what they said in the 50s, that you only use about 10% of your brain and 90% of it is used to do lots of other things. Which, when you think about it, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Anyways, back to what I was saying. However, people like to also use my intelligence to get information. Because, I guess, I, I, I don't know why. They didn't like doing their homework. That was the reason why they kids in high school and elementary school like smart kids. Yes. Just like guys may go after prettier girls. It's a kind of nod, nod. It's a, you know, nod on there, huh? Anyways, there's the thing is, I don't have a problem with him excluding people because. To be honest, you know, he, he has a big mucky muck, he can do whatever he wants. It'd be the same way as you, you know, maybe Disney saying, we don't allow, I hate saying this, but, and they do this, by the by, maybe not allowing gay people into their parks. I'd be very, very upset, very, very frustrated, and, but only because I... Well, I'm not going to go into it. <laughs> that That's not allowed because that would not, that's not really fair. You can't, there, there's nothing really wrong with them, but, you know, companies have the right to exclude those that they don't agree with. You know, the, let's see, whether I agree with it or not. <laughs> However, this is basically the equivalent to uh, uh, going across a fence, a great big chain link fence, where on one side there's a doll, these rabid rottweilers barking, yapping, and you know, fearing their ugly teeth in front of people. I don't like to compare most people to that, but you know, the rab rabidness of it all is similar to this. And here comes the the CEO with his, you know, one single piece of bacon. Nicely done, very good piece of bacon. And in these people's faces. Now he knows good and well that he's already put up of the electric chain link fence and if those, and I don't like comparing, it, please don't take this personally, I'm not comparing fat people, or people even like me, to dogs. I'm just saying, these feelings are already there. You know, we're aware of the fact, we cannot, we, people cannot shop there. However, for him to go and do that, and just wave his, you know, piece of bacon the way he's saying all these things. Is the most insulting. It 
It really is. This is exactly what that is. It is just teasing people. It is wrong. It is unfair. And it's enough. Now, back to the cool kid thing. Funny thing is, maybe it's just our society, and I'm pretty sure a long time ago, the average all-American cool kid persona thing has changed. I mean, a long time ago, I'm sure Rebel Without a Cause would have been kind of cool. You know, yeah, sure, I would like to be like James Dean. Damn, he was fine. Hey. However, there's just something about living his life I would like. There's just something about someone who has a bad home, or well, technically didn't even have that, and, or, heck, let's say if the all-American teen was, oh, great idea. Taylor Swift. Yeah. That's real nice. That woman. That crazy girl who has had, like, um, at least four, maybe five exes since she started her musical stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, folks. She has a nice voice, and, you know, heck, ironically, all girls go after older people, but I think there's something wrong with a girl. No matter how pretty she is, no matter how good she is. In fact, actually, that's part of the reason why I don't like her. Is she's too goody-goody. She was too nice. And there's something wrong with someone who's too nice and too goody-goody. It's just kind of a, she's about to go and snap in your faces, that just pops out with me when it comes to her. Do I think she's evil? No. Do I think there's something seriously wrong with people who are cool like this? Even if that's kind of what we like in a person? No. But I do kind of, I hate bringing up this phrase because I think it's silly that people fear the quiet ones, but yeah, beware of the silent ones is very true. The quiet ones always get you. It's basically it. They always do. Because people assume serial killers are odd, bizarre, disgusting people, you know, there are these people who live up in attics and wait to, for their next meal. Oh, no. We, we've learned that that's not the truth. We've had bombings. We've had, we've had, I've seen report, news reports about girls who are very, very pretty. Just snap. And for whatever reason, they just snap. Now, I might say this for another video, because personally, I don't mean to offend those out there, but, yeah. I mean, I guess this whole video is basically... Huh. In my opinion, I don't support what he said at all. I don't want to buy. I don't shop at Abercrombie Fitch in the first place. It's too expensive. Sorry, you know, if I that's just like me buying headphones from good old Dr. Dre. Hey, at like sixty dollars as a pair, when I know I could probably get more headphones. And from Walmart. For at least maybe five bucks. And it would be just as good. Yes. I mean, I don't mean to compare his product to that, but that's basically it. When I know I can get something of 
similar quality for less of the price. I'm not going to go to some place that charges me more than that. Okay. And plus, it's not like this hasn't happened before. I've heard of the whole discrimination thing. They've been kicking out thin people this time. But what's worse about it is they won't allow parents in either, which if your daughter likes Abercrombie and Fitch, and you're trying to get her a gift, you're screwed. Unless you try to send in some your older 16-year-old daughter who would shop there. I mean, don't get me wrong, I it's almost like having... Okay, I'm not going to use any more similes, sorry. It's just what it is. It's just wrong for him to say what he said. But I think, sadly, in our country, we're kind of at a point where the companies really can do and say what they want. And I don't know why. I've heard amazing atheists say this. I've heard thousands of people on YouTube say this. Okay, not a thousand, but enough to probably say, yeah, I get it, folks. These people need to stop. But there may not be a way to stop them. Anyways, this is Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. Okay. We'll go over and out. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe uh, to my channel. Uh, and follow me on, on Twitter, my fan fiction, and. and this video should be out to you by possibly Sunday. Okay. Saturday at the latest. Yes. Anyways. We'll go over and out. Bye.